Hi, Coach Mark with Action Coach Louisville, and today I'd like to talk to you about what it takes to really succeed with your team. What I want to share is our six keys to a winning team. So the first key is strong leadership. And that doesn't mean just you, it means having leaders throughout your team, not just managers, not positions on an org chart, but true leadership, which means people stepping up and taking and willing to take ownership of things and work through. So once we've got strong leadership, then the next step is to have common goals. Everybody has to know what it is we're trying to accomplish. If everybody's off doing different things, trying to get different results, everybody's working hard, but you're not going to get where you need to go. Winning teams know what the goals are, know what the expectations are, and work together to achieve them. So that's number two. Once we've got common goals in place, then we need to make sure we have our rules of the game. This is often also called our culture, our core values. You need to have your vision, your mission, and your core values, your rules of the game. That's how we operate. That's how we work together. That's the environment we create for each other to succeed in. It's also how we treat our vendors and our suppliers, and it's how we treat our clients, our customers, our patients. So rules of the game, number three. Number four is an action plan. That's now that we've got strong leaders in place, we know what we're trying to accomplish with our common goals, we, everybody knows what the rules of the game are, now it's an action plan. Who does what, where, when to achieve those results? Well, those are the first four, and I call those the core four. Once we've got the core four in place, now we can do the last two keys. Key number five is support risk-taking. Once your team is on board and they play by the rules of the game and everybody's trying to get the same results, you can let them try new stuff. Try a new way to do something. Take a little risk. The keys to making risk work are you start small. We don't take giant risks the first time. We take small ones. We try new things. And then if, if they try something and it fails, as long as they did it in the context of those core four, we don't punish them for it. We learn from it and we apply going forward. The sixth key, once we have that in place, is what we call 100% inclusion and 100% involvement. This does not mean everybody's included in everything. This means that if there's a topic or a subject or a problem we worked on, everybody who should be involved recognizes it and jumps in. They get involved. That's the 100% involvement. And then if that team sees that somebody who needs to be involved in a conversation, in a discussion, in a problem solving, isn't there, they go get them proactively. They include them. Nobody gets left out. Everybody proactively gets involved when they want to. So if you want to drive your team to have it to be successful and working together and really get great results, work on those and those orders. Strong leadership, common goals, rules of the game, a clear action plan. Then once you've got those core four in place, support and allow risk taking. In fact, encourage it. And then 100% involvement and 100% inclusion. Thanks for listening. I want you to work on your team this week, and we'll talk more about it next week. Thanks.